Oh, there's Johnson. Oh, no. I can't turn. Oh, f me. There went first and second. Damn it. Outside. Greetings. Salutations. Hello. I'm Smithers, bringing another NR2003 video, marching along in my rookie season, driving the number 10 car for Everham Motorsports. At the beginning of this season, we agreed upon a two-year contract to pilot the Valvoline machine, so at least for my rookie season, I don't have to have that cloud looming over my head, but this time next season, I gotta start seeing what's available for my next move. Last race at Chicagoland was a clean race for everyone else but me. My teammate cut me off, and I wasn't having that shit, and I retaliated immediately. I ran into Boyer again, I squeezed a June bug, and my right front blew out luckily in turn four, but with no fucking caution. So I hope the luck is in our favor today here at the Tricky Triangle, and we have a much better performance. Just want to give credit to the creator of this facility. This 2009 Pocono is created by Revamped Reloaded. The link for the track download will be in the description down below. So with the fast setup given for this racetrack, we were able to qualify 8th, which is our best qualifying spot in a little bit. Finally qualified ourselves into the top 10. Hendrick's top dogs in this era, Johnson and Gordon, got the front row. We're starting on the outside of our points leader for majority of the regular season, Kyle Busch. Got a couple of juniors behind us. Here's the rest of your starting grid for Pocono. Let's get going. We got 30 laps on today's race here at Pocono. Estimated fuel run of 22, so we're definitely gonna have to make one fuel stop, maybe even do uh, one of these maneuvers and do just two tires. Try and get that done early so I don't have to do it while I'm driving at 180 miles an hour. I'm sure Boyer's not too excited that I'm starting right behind him. I've ran into this man several times this season. It's a dark, cloudy day here in Pocono. It's gonna be a great day for racing. I love cloudy days. Not gonna get too hot in the race car. Finally getting around this long track. Coming off of turn three. I've been looking forward to this track, to be honest. I like Pocono. All right, let's get this tricky triangle underway. Let's go. Green flag. Immediately gonna drop to the inside behind Kyle. Had an opening. Kyle's going three wide. Oh! I just wrecked your points later. Well, there we go for a start of the race. I did not expect them to check up that fucking quick. I expected them to haul into the corner a little bit farther. Whoopsie, my bad. Gotta race ourselves back to the line. Keep ourselves in sixth. Come on, we lost a spot to Truex there on the, the straightaway coming off of one. All right, well, we're in sixth. First caution in like four or five races, to be honest. Pit road's open. No takers in front of me, I'm not going. Do I have damage? I do, but we're not gonna do anything about it. I get down in line behind Kyle. Kyle's going down three wide on the inside of Hamlin. I'm kinda like eyeballing him, following him, and yep, I just fucking took out Hamlin, Junior, Mears. Taking a look from Hamlin's perspective because he look, looks like he got the worst of the damage and uh, Kyle Busch kinda got spun around, got back going pretty quick, but Hamlin got clobbered time and time again looking that sign kind of blocked the, the initial wall contact but he kept spinning hitting the wall end into end got ran into by the 45 and the 22 earlier there and yeah we caused a quite a big of a pile up here on turn one i wonder how that's going to shake up the points because everyone who's been up front in the top 10 has been running up in the top 10 like for majority of these last few races so Having some bad finishes may shake things up in that point system and give me a, even more of an opportunity to get myself in, weaseled in there. We need consistent top tens. I may or may not be starting to create some rivals again here between uh, Kyle Busch now that I've just plowed him <laughs> into turn one. 
Didn't even give him a chance to make the corner. And then uh, with all the uh, the bumps I've given Boyer the last few few races. All right, pace car's about to pull off. Here we go, going back green at Pocono. Green flag back out. Got to get a restart. Truex is jumping out. I'm not gonna follow anyone down there this time. I'm actually gonna kind of. There we go. There we go. I did not get a good exit out of one. Boyer's gonna fly right by me. Stewart's trying to come right with him. I'm gonna block. Coming back on corner entry. Oh! I didn't have enough speed to kind of squeeze Boyer and block him out of the way here, but I got. Oh, that's gonna be a wall. Damn it, I wanted to clear this pack and not get sucked up in it. Fuck. Woo! Oh no! Biffle, buddy, I know you just saw what I did to your teammate, but show some mercy, have mercy. Excuse me, Harvick, I'm gonna just try and take this spot for a minute, maybe. Fuck! Damn it! I tried. I even. I tried to. I tried to. Yeah, I tried to play a little dirty, but it didn't get me nowhere. Definitely in our window to pit, and we're, we definitely need a repair after that. Okay, looks like it might be a split field here for pit strategy. Looking for my V sign. Where's my V card at? There it is. What the fuck's going on with the 33? Well, clear through another pit stop, through another race. Definitely had to come in with all the damage I acquired out on track, because I was running into people left and right. I don't know why, but I think it's... They, they're checking up a little bit earlier than uh, what I'm expecting them to. For some reason, the uh, AI, or they weren't checking up this bad during practice. I don't know if it's just because they're all bunched together. We're not spread out quite yet. Like, I, I don't... I just need to be more aware of what's in front of me and slow the fuck down a little bit earlier. Whopper, whopper, junior, double, triple, whopper, something, something. So we're on the one to go to the green flag, and I'm sitting here trying to save fuel because we have 21 laps to go. We'll have 20 when we do go green, but I have an estimated fuel remaining of one lap short. So this is going to play out interestingly. Green flag back out at Pocono. I don't know how many people stayed out. I know a lot of people uh, made a split decision when I was in ninth. Got a good jump. Getting by the double zero in 13. Nice and smooth corner. Didn't rear end the 45 car. Behind Junior, going on the inside. Battle of the beers. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was coming in a little hotter than I wanted to. Oh, Edwards! Damn it. What's with people cutting me off? Great, now Junior got back by me. Ooh, if I play that just right, if I play it just right, we gain three spots in one corner, fuck yeah, bitches! Ooh, the 66 and 32 are holding up some guys that, uh, especially Boyer, and, oh yeah, they're holding up people. Ooh, ooh, laying to the opportunity down here. Dive it in, dive it in, break, 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 break. Turn it, scuff some rubber off that tire, but I was not getting stuck behind two slow lap cars that wanted to stay out for some reason. Or not lap cars, but they they stayed out. And they don't run up front too oftenly. 
18 laps to go. I'm currently in 19th after restarting in 30th position. I believe I'm catching up to an old rival of the Tony Raines and the DLP car. This 10 car is handling great in every one of these corners. Not if you're overcorrecting the steering wheel like that. Damn, I gave up three spots to, especially to two people I shouldn't have, Gordon and Boyer. They're a uh, competition for my pit strategy. Damn it, Boyer. I guess that's fair for last week, but fuck. Back to 16th. I'm just getting antsy and I want to go. Ooh, there's a there's a chunk of people pitting. Ooh, are th is this my competition right here for the victory, maybe? Moved up into 11th. I had a better turn one than Boyer did. I'm right on his ass now. Outside. Inside. Got him this time. I can close the door on him now. Another car peeling off to go into the pits. There's three more I see down there. That's more spots for me. This is looking good for us. Don't get too confident too early now. Checkered flag hasn't flown yet. I'm trying to focus and catch up to Gordon because I believe he's one of the guys that I gotta beat in order to maybe get a victory here at Pocono. Because he was on my pit strategy. He was the first one to come down. It was Boyer and then me and a few people behind me. I'm in second. Leader's right up here. Yep, it's between me and Gordon. Oh, shit. Fuck. Well, now I got 13 laps to make that gap up, and now he's got damage, and so do I. I saw that rear end crunch in. 12 laps to go here at Pocono. The battle's still on. He's only a second. 1.4 seconds. I think staying in fourth gear is my only way to get around these corners with more, more gap. Oh, shit, here comes Boyer. I'm pushing it getting into these corners. It's not what I need, not what I need. Don't need to be bumping the wall. Manage my shit. I'll get back up there. We got plenty of time. Breathe, patience. There's lap cars up ahead, a pack of three of them. I bounced into the wall again. Gordon, Gordon's going to the pits. Uh-oh. Oh no, I don't have enough to make it. I gotta start saving. If I wanna win this thing, I gotta start saving. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Everyone's coming back down for a splash of fuel. I've won a Pocono race on fuel strategy before. Maybe use these guys that are behind me. I know the 45 and the 14 aren't for, uh, they're not for position, but they can maybe protect me from getting past while I try to save fuel. Fuck, down to six laps, eight to go. This would be the only time I'm wishing for a caution. For a race to end under caution would be in this scenario right fucking now. We got five laps left here at Pocono and I'm saving like a dream on fuel right now. You see we got estimated three, projected four, five to go. Things are looking very not good for us, but I'm in the lead and I want another fucking victory so fucking bad so if I have to save fuel and put around at very low race pace then so be it I can't imagine how slow my lap times are compared to what they what they were when I was actually just running normal but I am I'm coasting I'm getting right to the end of the pit wall and just shutting her down Letting her coast all the way through turn one as much as I can. Not shifting out of fourth. I've got no one behind me at the moment, so I'm just taking my time. Oh man, this is the amount of like anxiety I have right now. Oh, I smoked the brakes. And I'm still gonna bounce off the wall. The 48 cars in second. Oh, trust me, I know. Please give me that projected two laps that it's showing. We're coming around turn three for two to go. Oh my God, this is nerve wracking. Oh my God, we got two laps left here at Pocono. We're still leading like 12 seconds ahead of Johnson. No possible way, huh? Oh, there's Johnson. Oh no. I can't turn. Oh, fuck me. 
There went first and second, damn it. Outside. Come on, I gotta do something. Fuck, I ain't gonna win the race, but I, at least I might get third. Damn it, they came way, way faster than I thought they were. Oh, we're out of fuel, we're, yeah. She's out. All my hopes and dreams dashed with one extra lap. What do I do if I don't make it? Smith is coming off at turn three. Two laps to go here at Pocono. Second place Jeff Burton, third place Jimmy Johnson are hot on his tail though, catching up though, they're going a lot faster than he is. He's shutting the car off coasting through turn one. Getting her back going off of turn two. He is on fumes right now trying to get through here. Johnson got by Burton. They're coming. They're coming hot. Smith's trying to coast into turn two. Johnson, Burton coming in hot. They're getting down to the inside. He slides up high. Johnson takes the lead. Johnson takes it into turn three. Burton, Smith gets into the back of Burton. They're both into the wall in turn three. Johnson comes off onto the front straightaway. One to go, white flag out. We stay green. Burton and Smith side by side down the front straightaway. Johnson's pulling away. Burton gets ahead of Smith. Johnson's coming down through the tunnel turn. He's pulling away from Jeff Burton in the 31 car. Smith ran out of gas, going down the back straightaway into the tunnel turn. Johnson's coming out of turn three. Johnson. With an upset, comes out and pulls off the victory here at Pocono. Jeff Burton second, Martin Truex Jr. third, Kurt Busch fourth, Tony Stewart fifth. Damn right a heartache for the number 10. Alrighty, so that's not how I expected Pocono to go. I was really hoping that um, I could make it that last lap. I was half a lap short. I was all, pretty much a whole lap from winning the race because I really had to save and I didn't even fucking make it. So a little bit of a heartbreak in Pocono. We'll have to attack him next year. Had a pretty good run though. We led some more laps today. That's a little confidence boost on the team, but try not to focus on all the negatives. Anyway, here's your points with six races left until the chase. Kyle Busch is still your points leader. Tony Stewart has knocked quite a bit of points down off of that lead, though. It is now below 200 for the first time since I believe Kyle Busch started getting the points lead. Kurt Busch past uh, Harvick in the points. They swap spots. Truex and Boyer also swap spots. Johnson gained three over uh, and dropped Newman down. Hamlin gained one and got himself into the uh, the 10 man chase. Definitely some shake up after uh, the incident I caused with starting off with Kyle. So that's probably where the point deficit came in. From 13th on back to 26th, not much has changed other than Burton uh, passed me after he finished second behind Johnson and I, I, I was right there with him but I ran out of gas and finished 35th yeah we uh, did the complete opposite and we keep doing the complete opposite of what my goal is which is gaining points to get ourselves into the fucking chase but it's our yeah first year so I, I feel like we're not doing too bad we had a win we're leading laps we're, we're getting up there where we can anyway not much other movement Jamie McMurray passed Juan Pablo Montoya for 21st and then anywhere past that Sadler and Rudiman swap spots Ricky Rudd, Dave Blaney swap spots, Reagan, Sauter, not much movement. I mean, other than swaps here and there. There's everyone else for you. Next race will be at Indy. We'll be doing the Brickyard 400, or at least a shortened version of it. And uh, probably be the last time I use this mod, at least for the time being. I might bring it out during some of the chase races, because that'll be pretty fun and pretty cool. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say about Pocono. I'm a little, little upset that I didn't have enough fuel to make it to the end for my second points victory but we, we at least know that we have a good shot at Pocono races now. Anyways, I hope you have a good week. Hope you have a good day. Peace out.